Yeah, there's going to be a called one, and I know uh, about the valve system that was on one of the danger dents. Uh, basically, you got a, a bolt head fit in here, uh, which will have a, there's another one down here, like you can see where the nut spins in, that'll lock it into the case. And then you just got this valve here, right? Um, this is uh, the centre valve here, and if you look on the drawings in, a normal system there with a, just a single loop bread. You've got, um, if your system's running normally, this valve is open and these two valves are closed and you, you've got your loop. But um, <clears throat> if you want to uh, build this system, all you have right is um, these valves, this one here, this one here and this one here. If you want to fill the system, basically you just close this valve, which relates to, the, to this one here. And you open these two valves here. And basically all you're doing really is just, you're just making the loop bigger. Do you know what I'm saying? Like that, right? So, uh, <clears throat> if you want to fill the system, then um, this centre one is closed. These two valves are opened. Your flow goes round through the system, back down again. So you could use this if you wanted to use an external radiator, or if you wanted to um, blow the air out of the system um, by having pressure, yeah, increased pressure on this side. You know what I'm saying? You could have a higher pressure pump if you've got a load of airlocks. And you can blow them out, and then once you, your system, once you got your air out again, you can just close the valves, open this middle valve, and then you have got this uh, spinner here that will show you that the loop is going around here now, like you know what I'm saying. So, that's, so the fluid's going there, and then these spinners, you can get these from Special Tech, like, and then these uh, these are bits of power T's. You don't have to use these expensive ones. You can use any. Uh, you can use uh, the other type of T's. Cost a little, little bit less money, but. If you're going to be in there for some years, just save up a couple of bob and get these, these are nice. Um, as for connecting them together, if you go to um, if you go to a hydraulics uh, machinery uh, repair centre, uh, one company you can look for in your area is called Pertec. Uh, but any of them now, the threads um, they use are the same as ours on our fittings. It's quarter BSP. And uh, these these are the fittings they're using. This is what I use anyway for the straight connectors. Is uh, this type of fitting, and then you've got these things called doughty seals. See these little things? They've got a little rubber in them. But there's there's all sorts of stuff you can do. You can use PTFE tape. Do you know what I'm saying? You have to play about with it really, or you can go for a double-ended uh, rubber system like this if you want to butt the gear up. But basically, that's all it is, right? Is normal system. This valve is open. This valve's closed. This valve's closed. And if you want an external system, then you close this valve and you open these two valves. And one of the first uh, water cool systems I built couldn't get the air out of it. So what I did was uh, cheat a little bit, but I used a hose pipe or mains pressure. Uh, and um, what I did was hooked it up to the flow side. This valve is closed, and then slowly make sure this tap is open going into a reservoir and then what I did was slowly open this valve you know what I'm saying really really gradually open the valve and let the mains pressure get into the system I just blew the air out no problem but uh, there's just so many different configurations with regards to loops um, you know where you sit where your reservoir is situated and things like that like you know what I'm saying but uh, but this is a this is a if you're gonna f think about um, needing more cooling in the future this is a good system to build into the case because you could just add on to it like and you if you want you can get quick release fittings from the hydraulic places that will fit onto these on the outside of the system but like i say um and like i say uh your uh, quarter bsp compression fittings for your hose you know for, for the big stuff goes into them like or you can use the smaller stuff probably seen all this most people anyway like, but these are real quality things these are but um, just want one more look at that drawing you can see cheers